JP, Ron McLean over here in Oakville to you in Bay St. Anne, home of the Navigators. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the greatest guy and dad in the world. Happy birthday to you. So that's from Amy and Alexia and Max. And it's a day filled with love and support here on your birthday. I heard a lot of wonderful things about you. Uh, let me begin with craft beer. I hear you're a craft beer aficionado, and I fancy myself a bit of a beer drinker too. I'll recommend Bose out of the Ottawa Valley. Uh, there's their lug tread, and they also have a, another one called Wag the Wolf. So there's craft beer. I toast your birthday with those. You love to prepare seafood as I do. I barbecue principally. I uh, love to do halibut, uh, uh, Chilean sea bass. I love to do Mediterranean bass, the whole fish, but everything on the barbecue. I'm not great in the kitchen, uh, but I hear you are. Yeah, I just poach it in uh, usually foil with lemon and seasoning, mm -hmm. about 20 minutes on the barbecue uh, off of direct heat. That's my little secret and also make booyah bays and love seafood. So you and I are love of sport and craft beer and fish. I think we'd have a great time. Wish I was there for the birthday itself. I thought I would uh, close with two things. First of all, some Jean Beliveau highlights. Uh, for me, he is, because I hear that you are very much a selfless uh, humble, beautiful person. Uh, there's Beliveau. That's This is 1971 playoffs. Here he is leading Montreal back into a game against Boston. They'd already lost the opener of the playoffs. They were down 5-1 to one in game two, and Beliveau almost single-handedly engineered the comeback. This goal you're looking at here got him to 5-3 down in the third period, and uh, you saw no selly, no craziness from Beliveau. Now here he makes it 5-4 Boston with another great goal, and once again, look at him. He's a captain, and he's just all business. That year, 1971, they came back, by the way, and won the game 7-5. to five, five third period goals, all because of the great Jean Beliveau. He uh, scored his 500th that year. He won his 10th Stanley Cup, and at the age of 40, he retired. I want to show you this, too. This is a book, uh, as you know, uh, Bay St. Anne has the Acadian roots uh, inbred. Uh, Poe is the name of a book by Bruce Murray. Bruce used to live just across the way here in Oakville. He's gone now, God love him. Uh, he was a great teacher uh, and writer. That's his sister, Anne Murray, the famous singer. But in this book, he tells the story of Poe Beliveau, who is uh, obviously an ancestor of Jean Beliveau's, but also of the Murray family. The Murrays were Acadian too, Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. Uh, and it's about the 1855 eviction, uh, and ultimately, our lucky stars are to be thanked because Beliveau's family, they moved to Massachusetts, and they came back to Canada all over the country, but some of them settled in Victoriaville, Quebec, and that's why we had the great Jean Beliveau. But he reminds me of you, and I just uh, toast you on this birthday, JP, and send lots of love from your family. <laughs>